एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So welcome back to the part two of the video. So in the first part, we have learned about the Cauchy-Gorsuch theorem. So for more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side. Link is given in the description box. So in the second part of the video, we will start with the Lavalier theorem. Lavalier theorem. So this theorem says that suppose that for all z in entire complex plane, number one, f z is analytic and f z is bounded. If fz is bounded, we can represent it as mod of fz is less than a for some constant m. For some constant m. Then, if both the conditions are satisfied, that is fz is analytic also and fz is bounded also, then this fz must be a constant function. fz must be a constant function. So this is a very important theorem given by Lavalier that if the given fz is satisfying two conditions that is fz is analytic and fz is bounded also then fz must be a constant function. So a entire bounded function is going to be a constant function. So this can be stated in one line. So when it is a constant function, then the maximum value or minimum value needs to be calculated with the help of maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem. So Lavalier's theorem tells us whether fz is a constant function or not. And then maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem gives us the maximum value and minimum value of the fz respectively. So we will go them one by one. First, we will start with maximum modulus theorem. So, maximum modulus theorem tells us that the function will be having a maximum value, then how to find out that. So, it says that suppose that, suppose fz is analytic inside and on C inside and on a closed curve on a closed curve C and it is not and is not identically equal to a constant identically equal to a constant that it, it is not a constant function, constant function, then the maximum value then the maximum value of fz occurs on the curve c. So that is our maximum modulus theorem says that if fz is analytic inside and on a closed curve C and it is not identically equal to a constant that it is it is not a constant function then the maximum value of fz will occur on this curve C. Similarly, the minimum modulus theorem says that Minimum modulus theorem says that suppose fz is analytic inside and on inside and 
on C and if Z is not 0 inside C, if Z is not 0 inside C, then the minimum value of Fz occurs on C. So the minimum modulus theorem says that suppose Fz is analytic inside and on C and Fz is not 0, then the minimum value of Fz that is mod of Fz occurs on C. So this maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem shows us the way to find out the maximum and minimum value of the function. So we'll take one example to make it more clear. So first we'll take the example for maximum modulus theorem. So we'll take one question. So find maximum value of of fz on mod of z is less than equal to 1 for fz is equals to z square minus 3z plus 2. So first of all, we need to find out whether the fun given function is analytic or not because to apply the maximum modulus theorem, we need to find out the, uh, we need to apply the maximum modulus theorem. So for that, we need, we have taken this fz as z is square minus 3z plus 2. So it is a polynomial in z, therefore we will say that it is uh, analytic inside and on this closed curve C where the C has been given as mod of z is less than equal to 1. So we can say that z is between minus 1 and 1. Now we will take the factorization of this z. So fz factorization of z can be taken as z minus 2 and z plus 1. Now out of this this z uh, so it is giving us two values so one is z equals to 2 and another is z equals to minus 1 now z equals to 2 is not lying in this c therefore we will not consider this therefore we can say that the maximum value of fz will lie at uh, will will be calculated at z equals to minus 1 because this will be the point which is lying on this curve c therefore the maximum value of fz maximum value of fz will be given at f will be at will be at z equals to minus 1 therefore we will be calculating the value of fz at z equals to minus 1 so it is minus 1 is square minus 3 minus 1 plus 2 so it is 1 plus 3 plus 2 so it is coming out to be 6 so the maximum value of the function fz on this curve C, where C is given as mod of Z is less than equal to 1 and FZ is given this one. So for we need to find out that whether the point for FZ they are lying inside the curve C or not because if the function will not be analytic at those points then it will be uh, then this maximum modulus theorem cannot be applicable. So when we have factorized this then we have observed that we got the two values for z minus 1 and 2 out of that 2 is not lying inside the curve inside or on the curve c therefore this point will be discarded and this z equals to minus 1 will be considered to calculate the maximum value of the function which will be calculated at z equals to minus 1 and it, it comes out to be 6. So the answer of the question will be 6. So uh, we will take one more question. So uh, find the maximum value for find the maximum value of fz is equals to z raised to the power 4 plus z squared plus 1 for mod of z is less than equal to 1. So this is the c is mod of z is less than equal to 1. Now for this the first thing to apply the maximum modulus theorem we need to find out whether the uh, given fz is analytic with inside and on this curve c since it is in polynomial form so therefore we know that it is uh, analytic inside and on this closed curve c where c is the closed curve mod of z is less than equal to 1 that is this is a circle this is y and this is 
So this is a circle of radius 1. So this is the entire region in which we need to find out whether it is analytic inside and on this boundary also. So since it is analytic, therefore we can apply the maximum modulus theorem. So the boundary for the curve is my z is going from minus 1 to 1. Now since it is a polynomial and it is an even function, therefore uh, and it does not have any point at which the function is not analytic inside and on this curve c, therefore we can find out that by applying maximum modulus theorem that the maximum value of the function will occur on C and on C means either at the point z equals to minus 1 or 1. So since it is an even function, so we can either take minus 1 or 1, both are going to give us the same value. So the maximum value can be found out using 1 is to the power 4 plus 1 squared plus 1. So it is coming out to be 3. Therefore, the maximum value of the function maximum value of fz will be 3. So, this will be the maximum value of the given function fz on the curve mod of z is less than equal to 1. If the curve will be changed, that is if, if we change this curve as mod of z is less than equal to 2, then the maximum value will also be changed accordingly. So that is how uh, the maximum modulus theorem will be applicable on a function which is analytic inside and on this curve c and which is not identically constant. So we can see that this fz is not a constant and therefore we can find out the va maximum value of the function by applying maximum modulus theorem. Now on, on the similar lines the minimum value uh, minimum modulus theorem can be applicable to find out the minimum value of the function. The methodology will be same to solve the question. So in this part of the video, we have discussed the Lively's theorem, maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem. So Lively's theorem says that, that if uh, when a function is going to be constant and if it is not constant, then the maximum and minimum value of the function which are analytic inside and on this closed curve C can be found out using maximum modulus theorem and minimum modulus theorem. For in-depth knowledge of the subject, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing details of which is given on this site and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.